Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So today I I haven't done a summoning video in two days, I think. So I kind of got quite a lot of eggs just from random farming in golems. I it, they kind of saved up. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be summoning as well as doing a lot of rebirths. And also I I don't think I think that's pretty much it. Just summoning rebirths and talking about my my game plan. So I'll talk about my game plan first before we get into summoning. Um, I recently, you know, if you watched yesterday's video, I basically made a Dragon V10 team, like a pretty good. I think I'm really happy with uh, a team that I'm 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 just uh, quite happy with, since they are able to basically uh, clear the dragon in you know at least one refill, like they at most one refill. I mean, they'll be able to clear dragons because I don't I haven't done enough testing, but I I need, know like theoretically. Uh, just like from theory crafting, that they will they will be able to do dragons um, at most with one refill, unless something really really bad happens, like light purse resist stun crits on me kills me. No, I would still kill her afterwards. Um, so I would still kill her no matter what before before uh, I think before turn three. Like, yeah, I have enough damage, basically, to with the attack leader to kill her before turn 3. So, um, there's no way that she will be able to, to do anything. And the other thing is, I, I think that team does have potential to be a 100% team. All I really need to do is get them all on, like, all 100%, all on Ruin. Um, it's going to be very, very hard. But if my gem quality can be that good then I think I'll be able to make that team like a 100% team for, for Dragon's V10. Um, but with the, the way it is right now, I'm, I'm pretty happy, so I, I guess I'll just keep them the way they are. Um, I think the next big thing I want to do is work on my Dark Atito's runes. I'll probably do this uh, right before the Dragon's Dungeon comes out next weekend. I'll see if I can put him on a better set to basically make guarantee that he has a hundred percent crit rate because the only way things mess up is when he doesn't crit so if he has a hundred percent crit then everything will be completely you know hundred percent re reliable um, so that's that's my next big um, thing I want to do as, as for my next big project like the uh, you know for because right now like before I was working on Dragon's B10 I think my next big project is going to be for Gollum's B10 I'm going to be working on quite a lot of monsters to make a faster Golems B10 team. Now, I probably need to f go through the whole thing of fusing 12 more Victorias in order to make my light one Evil 3. Uh, it's not that bad. It's not like too horrible. Because if I can make her Evil 3, then she's going to have much, much better stats and higher defense and stuff. Uh, the other thing is I want to, you know, if, if possible, put her on like a leech set but it's going to be very, very hard. I don't have a lot of leech gems. I don't think I have any leech gems. I have that shitty resist one. And I have two HP ones. Like, I don't have any uh, any defense ones that I can use on her. So, because um, I was thinking, like, if I could put on a leech gem, since they're changing the golems to, you, basically, you need to have armor break, I can just actually use my Dark Thor. And he's already gemmed perfectly, because he's one slot def defense and one slot attack crit rate so he's like more offensive with like a little bit of tankiness which means he's perfect and uh, since the golem is getting his HP increased courageous strike is going to be very very effective against golems I watched a lot of people talk about the the whole like golem change HP like I watch every single person's update video no one has talked about courageous strike like nobody has talked about using courageous strike against golems I guess it's mainly because no one has actually tested it. I I myself would not have tested if a if a buddy of mine never like requested that I I test it. Um, like the day I got my Dark Indra, basically, um, someone wanted me to to test him out in Golem Speed Ten, and actually found him pretty good. Like he does a lot of damage against um, against the Golem boss because the B Ten boss does does do quite a lot of damage. So what I think I can use on a B10 team is if I can get her on like a siphoning set or something like that and get her to evil 3, I can actually run her for, like just run her as a solo like light monster and then I'll just like run 3 dark. I'll just run um, Indra, Thor, and plus 1. I'm not sure who I, who I would run. 
Maybe, maybe just another Mona or something like that, and I, I should be able to do it, you know? Just like run a lot of strong nukers. Um, if it's not possible, I could also run run my Snowy as well. Just I think it'll be safer if I just run th two of them to split up the damage, and then I'll use um, I'll use Thor and Indra. Man, what's it gonna take to get this guy to Evo three? Maybe I should summon during the F Heroes Festival, try to get a few more Indras. You know, if I can get him to Evo three, he'll he's gonna be really sick for like farming and stuff. He's gonna be really sick for Titans as well. Like the thing is, he's so good for all the Titans because he's. Um, you know, not only does he have, like, Courageous Strike on both his skills, stat-wise, he's a nat 5, so he's got, like, and he's, he's, like, one of the higher attack-type nat 5s, if you look at his stat at Evo 3. Um, it's got 3,600 base attack, which is pretty damn high, to be honest. Um, so, you know, if, if possible, but it, probably not, it's gonna take... Quite a long time, but even at Evo 2, I think it should be pretty good for for farming um, farming golems. You know, his stats aren't too bad at Evo 2. Mostly attack. I don't think he needs that much tankiness. He's he is element neutral against the dungeon, anyways. You know, what would be the perfect monster if if you, if you had a light Siegfried. It would be so sick. It's even better because he's balanced type, so he can build him like two slot defense, and then he's light as well, so he doesn't. Um, he gets like extra crit rate, not crit damage. So he can literally just go attack, defense, HP on him. And then he'll be able to tank plus do tons of damage against the boss. Um, I don't know, maybe you can wood, wood Pinolo the Golem B10 boss. I don't think he can survive the waves though. Actually no, he can he can definitely survive the waves if you had a if you had a light tank. Yeah, someone ought to ought to test it out. Wood Pinolo Golems B10. Trust me, he's going to do a lot of damage to the boss. Um, the boss has a lot of HP. Like, the B10 boss already has quite a lot of HP. So, when they increase it, it's going to do even more damage. It might just work, you know? It literally just just, just might. Um, but I don't know, I think I need someone to clear the waves as well. I mean, they, they do enough damage to clear the waves anyways. And these, these two will definitely do a lot of damage to clear the waves as well. So, um, next big goal, probably get her evil, evil 3. Fuse a shit ton of Victorias. Basically go through what I went through all of April. So this is probably going to take 20 more days to do. And, uh, yeah, also get some th get the Snowy gemmed up. I, I won't do it today because I don't have... I think I'll spend another week because I don't really need him right now. I'll, I, I'll probably, um, once I once they make the changes... What I can do first is I can, I can, uh, you know, I might not even need the Snowy, to be honest. I do have another really good monster I can use for, for B10. This is my Light Wild Fang, which is, uh, she's got 80% defense down and 60% AoE shock. So, she's also balance type, which is perfect, because, uh, light types need some sort of tankiness, so I can gem her up with, like, attack, defense, HP. I don't know if I can push it though. Like, I don't need leech set on her if I if I use two light monsters, and then I can just I can just complete this intuition set. I think I just ripped it off someone. Probably throw throw a, throw in this defense gem back in, and then she'll be pretty good. Um, but the next big thing is I need to get her to evil three. Also, to get this wild thing to evil three, I need like uh, three more wild things. I kind of don't want to gleam wild things, so. I think in the next uh, next few weeks or so, I should be able to, hopefully, like, it, within three weeks, I might be able to summon, like, three more wild things, um, and that'll be pretty good. Alright, so, I think, in terms of plans, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I think, t temporarily, I can just run, uh, I can just run her, run Snowy, I'll run July, since she's also very, very close to Evil 3, I think I only need two or three more Julys in order to make her evil three and uh, yeah I'll basically run these three plus uh, maybe maybe another light monster to try to spread out the damage you know maybe like temporarily run out run in my light Mona actually since she's only evil two I'm and not a variant I might as well just run my light Mona leader and then just run um, run these two 
Yeah, I'll just like double light Mona run those two. Should be should be good enough. Yeah, since they're all Evo 3 max level already, I might as well just run that team. Um, that's for the short short term. Like that's that's something I can immediately do. And then once once I get my uh, my Victoria ready um, and my Wild Thing ready, I think I can I can do like Victoria Wild Thing, like Light Victoria Leader Wild Thing uh, Indra Thor for for Golden Speed Ten should be should be insanely fast. Actually, no. Like, what's the point of me talking about it? Let's 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 do a test run. Why the heck would I be talking about it when I can just show you guys? All right. So uh, since they're pretty squishy, she can't solo tank B10. I could gem up this Mona again. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I can just gem up that Mona. I might as well put that gem back on my Victoria since no nobody's using it. Nobody needs that gem right now. I'll just put this intuition gem back on her. All right, this is this is pretty good. Um, my light Mona as well. Uh, the, yeah, she doesn't have too much crit rate. You know, to be honest, it does, it would actually be better if I just use a broken set, but with like more crit rate. But I don't have any square crit rate I can give her. Wait. This crit damage plus 21. Nobody's using this? What's my light Medusa using? Why is she using the shitty gem? Hmm. Yeah, she deserves better. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unequip this one. I'll... I guess I'll... I don't really need her this weekend. If I do get some Dragon Sigils, I'll put that 21% crit rate gem on her. And then she'll be way stronger. But for now, I'll use this one on her. Alright, this should be alright. But, um... You know, I don't, have a, I don't have a leader skill for the two dark monsters. This is the right Mona, right? Yes, this one's the right Mona. Out of energy. Alright, let's try this out. Let's test this out. You know I love experimenting in this game, so much fun. I love just like theory crafting and experimenting things. If this works, my Indra definitely needs better gems. Probably needs a lot better gems than this. Yeah, that, that Victoria definitely needs Evo 3. Ooh. I just realized I have no healer. The trick was to, like, the reason why I want to run this is just so they can sustain. This actually doesn't work. I should have ran two Mona, because the two Monas would, would be like the Victoria on a Leech set. The thing, the reason why I want to do, use the Victoria on Leech is so they all attack her and then she just leeches and sustains. But this isn't going to work because they they don't have any sustain. It would work with two Light Monas, because the two Light Monas, when they crit, they would sustain. And then these two don't need sustain, they just need to... I just need to have enough damage to just kill the boss easy. Alright, I think if I wanted to experiment with this... I need to gem up my other light Mona, and then ungem her. Right, I don't need to ungem her. I can keep her gems the way it is, but I need to I need to gem up my other light Mona. Yeah, she's dead. Rip. But uh, that's not the point of the video. The point of the video isn't to show you guys the runs. It's to show you guys the damage of like, of uh. Of uh, like the, the HP leverage on bosses. Alright, that was a non crit. He needs to crit. Alright, I'm gonna use the Thor HP leverage against uh, against this this boss. See how much damage it does. Feels like I'm doing a monster spotlight. 
Oh no, is that a lot of damage? Yeah, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. No, my Indra's dead. Oh wait, no, they're hitting they're all hitting my light monsters. Let me try to armor break him. He's probably gonna resist. I should have just hit him hard. But the thing is, after the update, he's gonna have lower resist. No. <laughs> Alright, that was a failed B10 run. But I, I, I kind of just wanted to show you guys how, how, how it worked. I should, I could like put in my light siren just to test this out, so we can have a actual successful run. But you guys, you guys get the theory, right? Like if you, if I had her on leech, and then I think my light wall thing also needs leech. I can do, uh, I can do, HP, attack. Um, defense on the wild thing. No, I can do double defense. Yeah, double defense attack on the light wild thing. And then run these two. Alright, you're not gonna work right now. I guess I'll... Yeah, defense lead, because she's a, she's a defense aggressor as well. That was a lot of damage on the boss. That was an insane amount of damage on the boss. With the Indra. I might be able to run this team after they make the golem changes. No, I think Light Victoria for the attack lead is still better than that Light Mona. But I need her on a leech, leech set, but it's, it's really hard. I don't know how I can get three defense leech gems on her. This probably isn't gonna work. Like this, this thing will work theoretically, but you need to have like all the perfect gems for it to to actually work out. This team isn't stable for B10, but it's just I was, I'm just doing it to test, to do, to do a damage test. It's actually somewhat reliable because Light Siren has a has morale boost on first skill. She's a morale boost healer. She's a morale boost shielder, which is like really sick. Yep. <coughs> oh crap. My Indra gems are shit. Like they're they're so bad. I I do have them on like plus fifteen gems, but the the subsets on those gems are just complete garbage. All right, let's actually actually test this out. Shield up first. Oh, we can we can see the Mona second skill against the boss. It's like four hits. Alright, please crit. Please crit with your stupid shitty crit substats. Did you see that? That was like five that was like seven hits or some shit. <laughs> I think Thor can do pretty much do a lot of damage himself as well. It's like four hits. Yeah, and keep in mind there's only an evil 2 Indra as well. If I had an evil 3 dark Indra, holy shit. I would wreck this golem so damn hard. I would have like some insane run speed. If I can get an evil 3 Indra. 
It will happen one day eventually. All right, this is without armor break. But I think after the after the update, there there'll be a lot of armor break on this. Yeah, he does so many hits. It's insane. I wonder if he's gonna do even more hits on at Evil Three. You know, Light Siren's actually really good for B10. She's tanky, she has a shield, she has morale boost. Alright, let's try to let's try to put armor break on him again. See the Indra's first skill on armor break. Alright, this is Indra's first skill without armor break. Now that was no crit. A bit unfortunate. Yeah, I think I can I can make this run really fast. If I just had like one um if I just had just my light Nike tank this on a on a leech set, I can do it. And then I'll just put in like three other element nukers. Alright, that's 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 enough testing. Let's let's get to summoning now. That has been long enough. It's time to summon. Um Wonder if I can get my twentieth bingo piece here. Damn it, I just need this Cosmo and Indra. Oh, that's not a Cosmo. I'm probably not gonna get it. <laughs> Alright, um, unfortunately, I don't have enough to, to show that on video, but you can probably see I'm not going to get it. Alright, I have three chances left, I have to get two of those, it's it's just impossible. But we're just going to summon now. Alright, let's hope for a wild thing. I don't know how many years it's going to take to get my Indra to Evil 3. I have no other Indras, so there's that. I don't know, I, I don't care that much about summoning right now since I, I'm not really doing... Oh, nice. Oh, I never had a Wood Neza before. She's got SP, HP Siphon, Self Sustain, and... Seal. Oh no, I don't know. Like she can, she's probably pretty good for B7, but uh, they're changing B7 as well, so we don't know what element B7 it's going to be. But there will probably be a wood element dungeon, so you can probably use her in that one, or uh, a dungeon where you want to use the wood element. Oh, I finally got a wood Yaksha. Um, the cool thing about the Wood Yaksha is she's actually pretty good for a YOLO Dragon's B10 team. I was actually theorycrafting and planning to use her before. You know how I use the Light Medusa? You can actually use her instead. Um, she can kind of do the same job. Because if you look here, oh actually I'll show it afterwards. I'll, I'll remind me to talk about the, the Wood Yaksha afterwards. After we actually do the summon. Oh, nice, another lightning. Another Wood Yaksha. Alright, alright. I don't really need her, but um, Lightning's always good. I can definitely raise one of the Yakshas in the future. I was thinking the Fire one's pretty good. She has attack down and defense down. So 4 stars are always good now. Like, I, I've, I've never thought of this before. Like, I never felt this way before, but I, I really value just, like, getting any 4 stars now. Because you can, you can use them for whatever... You need to in the future. All right, that's a variant monkey. Variant monkeys are actually pretty easy to get because they're farmable on the last map. So if you want to make your monkey a variant, it's not it's not too difficult. All right, astronaut inventory is full. You know what? We will just rebirth. Easy solution. I don't need Mona. I don't need Miho. I don't need this guy. I don't need the Beth. Maybe I should start keeping all my Mihos. You never know, I could I could uh 
I could fuse a Shiva sometime in the future. Alright, lap mini cat, we don't need that. Uh, I'll, I'll keep the Miho starting next month. Maybe when I eventually decide to do it. Alright, it's, an, it's another monkey. Um, hmm. Alright, we're out. Let's summon a few more. Never wanted a wild thing so badly. Until now. I just need three more wild things. Then I'll have an evil three wild thing. Because I'm planning on feeding the other two away. My old other two wild things. I have no use for them anymore. Oh nice, I got I have a lot of cocos. These are really good. Cause I can use them. Like they're the they're the water ones. So I don't have to do another extra fusion for them. I can use them for the, the Victoria fusion. You know what would be nicer? If I actually summon some Victorias instead. That would be amazing. Oh nice, I got a July. I just need I just need three more. I think. Or two more. My math is bad. I can't count. But I, I almost have an Evil 3 July. So close. So close. Alright, four more eggs. Let's do this. Let's see if I can get... Oh, I got a Wood Siren as well. She's the other part needed for the fusion. Alright, I know what the game's telling me. It's telling me to Evil 3 my light, Victoria. It's, it's going to be my next project. That that Water Sea Star was there for preparation. I think, I think this is a good omen. It's like, you're going to pull that light Sea Star. Keep all these Sea Stars for them. I was out of inventory again. It's time. To do another rebirth. Well, rip. But at least I can summon this last egg. It's another sea star. What's the game telling me? It summoned, it summoned the three RGB sea stars. Is it finally time for the light one? Is that what the game is telling me? Alright, this is the last rebirth for today. I'm halfway there, but uh, I will be able to reach 30 within um, within the next few days. And if I don't get the light sea star on this 30th summon, I guess I'll I guess I'll give up. Some things aren't just are just not meant to be. You shouldn't force your luck. So going back to the topic of talking about the Woody Aksha, um, now if you look at her stats over here. She is one of the... Ooh, I don't have a wooden Ezza. Nice, 20 extra Astro Gems. Now this this uh, thing about the wood Yasha is... She is the, I think, the highest... Uh, the monster with the highest base attack that has 100% CC on first turn. She is the, like, the... Um, I think she would be more ideal to use than the Light Medusa possibly for running um dragon's b10 like if i want to if i build her all the way because if you look at the light, light medusa stats but then light medusa has a better second skill which might help me one shot the dragon later on she has 2900 um well she has 3100 you know so she is the you can basically build her like full yolo full attack uh and she has a two turn cc so, uh, what you can do is, if you, if you do, like, you can make, basically make her attack last, always, and, uh, this is really, really effective, because during the, like, during the first wave, when you're fighting against the light purse, 
what you could do is, since you know, if you do land this on the first turn, uh, it's kind of wasted since it's asleep, like they wake up after one turn, but you can actually not attack Light Purse. So what you can do on the first turn is, when I, like, when I do, if you have a, the exact same team as me, um, with the with the Victoria, um, Thor, Gatito, and, uh, and Medusa, but instead replace Medusa with her, you could actually try to CC the Light Purse on the first turn with her. And if your sleep lands, it means you don't have to try to CC again during the second turn. So you can kill one of the side units, and then the next turn you can kill the- you're, you're guaranteed to have the Light Purse still CC'd, and you just send all your other attackers to, to the second unit, and then, you know, basically just overkill it. And then on third turn, you have your Dark Thor, uh, your- the- the Light Purse would wake up, and then you can stun- um, you can try to armor break with the Dark Thor, and if your armor break lands, you just have all your monsters attack the, um, attack the Light Purse, she dies. If your armor break doesn't land, she basically is another CC. Just make sure she attacks last, always. And then, you know, so you don't actually wake them- wake the Light Purse up from sleep. And then even if you're, like, next turn, um, like, the turn after that, um, the Light Purse will die for sure, if your team is built well enough and has enough attack. Because even if you don't land armor break, don't land any any of the CCs, the light purse is going to die before turn three. After two turns where you're, all four of your units are attacking her. So that's like eight attacks on her. There's no way that she survives if your team is gemmed well enough. Um, you know, if your team is like full yellow. Then on the second turn, you can stun one of the units on the side. And then, uh, you know, stun another unit using like Dark Victoria or any other CC unit, for example. Armor break, one unit with uh, your 100% armor breaker, one shot with like a nuker, dark potato, and then next turn the monster will still be CC'd. So you can CC two more monsters and then kill the, you're guaranteed to kill the last monster. And then the first monster wakes up, the next turn there's only three monsters left, it's, or there's only two monsters left, you're guaranteed to 100% CC that one, and then you move on to the dragon with your bar completely full. So she's really really good for D10 I think. If I if I can get her evil three, I I might um I might possibly use her instead of the light light Medusa. But the other thing is she doesn't have that uh have a stronger second skill like the light Medusa with her her thingy her this thingy. Um, but I'll I'll have to do a lot of experimenting. She could be better. She could be worse. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Um, with the higher base attack and two turns CC. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it about her. I I fed her away during the Thor Rebirth Festival, but because I didn't, the one I had didn't have a square slot. But maybe these two will have squares. Wait, this one was a variant. I summoned her as a variant. Hmm, that's pretty lucky. Wait, where was where was that one from? Alright, this one has a square slot. It's two squares too. That is pretty good. I can actually get her to evil too. I can I can get her as a get her leader skill too. For crit leader? Oh, if you can get her as a crit leader, it's actually really good. Because you're gonna be building most of your um all your attackers with 100 percent crit. So crit leader is like could potentially be as as effective or more effective than attack leader. If you think about it that way. Alright, so that's, yeah, that's enough theory crafting for today. Anyways, um, I'm going to go back to farming, and um, probably not going to get this. Like, I have three chances left. Let's, let's face it, I'm not going to get that light dark egg. If I do get it, tomorrow I'll summon it, um, you know, during tomorrow's video. If I don't get it, if I, there's no light dark egg tomorrow, you, you guys know what happened. Anyways, back to farming now, and I will, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.